All right, so um, in this example, ladies and gentlemen, now we have some expressions. All right, now we have some expressions that we're going to be working with. So in this case, ladies and gentlemen, um, basically what we're going to do is before you start doing inverse operations, if you guys remember when we were looking at the inverse operations last time, I, I just had that square root or the variable raised to the power it was by itself. In this case, I have the cube root of 2x, but I have an added 4 to it. So before we can apply the inverse operation of a rational um, power or of a um, radical, we have to isolate it. All right? Make sure that it is not being added or subtracted by any numbers. So in this case, I'm going to subtract a 4. So therefore, I now have cube root of 2x is equal to 2. All right. Now, just like we undid this, um, the square root, to the inverse operation of the square root was to square, square it. So the inverse operation of the cube root would be to would be to Squaring. cube the number. So we're going to cube both sides. Therefore, Nick, now what we have is we'll go ahead and be left with 2x is equal to 8. And now we can go ahead and divide. So I'll divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 4. Okay. But ladies and gentlemen, again, as I mentioned, we got to make sure, I'm telling you, we have to make sure we check our answers. So I'm going to go back up with 2, and I'm going to go back and look at the solution. 2 times 4 is 8. The cube root of 8 is 2. 2 plus 4 equals 6, which obviously equals 6. Yes, Dave. Because the main important thing that you guys need to know for solving all of these problems, guys, I really need you to be paying attention with this. Nick, that would include you. Put your phone away, please. So I'll be more than happy to give you a problem that you can't do in your head. Okay. So um, the main important thing when you guys are doing these inverse operations, what I said at the beginning, which is the most important, is you guys need to understand. You got to make sure you isolate that cube root, because if you cubed, I, I don't want to. I mean, get it. But if you cube this, um, you're going to have to multiply the cube root of 2x plus 4 times itself three times. So you got to include the 4. So that's why we ice. That's why I subtracted the 4 first. So now it's just an expression um, by itself. <laughs> 